Good evening. Hi. What is your name? Gina. Where are you from, Gina? I'm from the Bronx, New York. Oh, wow. The yeah. Bronx. Yeah. You're... What are you going to do here tonight? I am here to do some comedy for you guys. Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is crazy. Y'all are so real. Are you nervous? I'm excited more than anything else because this is epic. Yes. This is the dream that I'm here. That's crazy to me. Okay, so let's go. Let's, let's see what you can do. Uh, my, my husband's a great guy. I love him. I got a good one. I got me a 1978 Caucasian. <laughs> That's a good model, good year. That's right. He's not just regular white either. He's Midwest white, which, that's organic. <laughs> that is farm to table white, you guys. Like, <laughs> I went to the source to get my white man. Like, I was not playing. I was like, I'm gonna go where they make y'all. <laughs> I was so nervous to get married because my husband wanted us to write our own vows. And I grew up a tomboy. I'm a little Puerto Rican girl from the South Bronx, man. I got a thick skin, and I was so afraid that my vows were going to be the most New York gangster vows. I was so afraid that I was going to get up there and be like, yo, I dead ass love you, son. <laughs> On God, I love you, man. <laughs> and my husband is so excited that he's married a sassy Latina. He loves it, and I get it, I get it. I'm the only Latin woman he's ever been with, so I'm his first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not my first white guy. <laughs> I've been with white guys before, mainly to gather information, bring it back to my people. <laughs> Luckily, on my wedding day, I actually had somebody to turn to to help me with my vows, because I was like super nervous, so I went to a better adult than me, my sister. And me and my sister are tight. We're identical twins. I have a twin sister. And I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like whenever I say I'm an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic. And she has low self-esteem, which is weird because she has my face. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> that is our face. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That's my time. Thank you. joke you made. Thank you so much. Your energy, everything, you look amazing and you were so funny. I loved it. So I want to know what the other guys think. Uh, you know how I felt? I felt that you were just having a conversation with yes. us. Right? It Thank wasn't you. like a routine. It was like, yes, and my name's Gina and off you went. And That's why you my boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you my boo, Simon. That's why you my boo. I wish your husband was standing right here when you were talking about him. Oh my God, he actually loves it. You were hilarious. Thank you. You're funny. I don't want to talk. I don't want to interrupt you. You are just on a roll. You're beautiful. You're funny. You're natural. Oh my God. You checked every box a comedian can check. And what a great addition to the 16th season of America's Got Talent. Shut up. I am going to give you your first yes. Number two. Yes. Three yeses. What? Number four. What? Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so she good. She was very natural. Yeah, that was so good. Was no nerves or you didn't see it. Yeah. If you want to know what just happened, what just happened? you just got four yeses on America's Got Talent, the world's biggest happened? talent show. You're a boo. I'm a boo. I always wanted to be a boo. To solidify my love for comedy, I was married at Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. 
and it is still one of the best days of my life, only second to my son being born and AGT. My life totally changed when I became a mom. There's a fire in me now that my son lit. This isn't just for me, it's all for him. I am the example as to what is possible. Oh, that's mommy. Oh, that's old for the mommy. She was skinny. My husband's a great guy. I got me a 1978 Caucasian. You checked every box a comedian can check. But to watch it with him and see his face kind of light up, and then you see that moment, and you get to tell yourself, this isn't for nothing. And the prize, the chance to put together my own show in Vegas. I want to show my son that dreams do come true. Hello. Oh, my. It feels nice to be here for you guys. I do miss home. I am born and raised in the South Bronx in New York. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, fellow gangsters. I love where I'm from. I love the people from where I'm from. A lot of the girls I grew up with had that really thick Rosie Perez Puerto Rican accent. Yeah, that, you, you so stupid, stupid. That's how they all talked. And I was jealous. I was jealous of those girls because guys thought that accent was cute and I didn't have it and I was jealous until I realized that at some point, that girl's gotta get a grown person job. <laughs> and that's gonna be amazing. Can you imagine you walk into a courtroom and your lawyer's like, but he didn't did it, your honor. <laughs> nah, cause you looking at him like he's guilty when I told you he didn't did it. <laughs> did I win yet? I won yet? I won? No, you gotta specifically tell me. <laughs> Thank you for getting the last part. I tease, but I love. It's part of Latino culture, like we tease, yes. We tease cause we love, yeah. There's, but we're brutal. We hold no punches. It's to the point where your biggest insecurity will become your nickname. Yeah, if you're chubby, they call you gordito. That means fat little kid. That's what that means. Yeah. It's not a nickname, that's a whole sentence. I was a chubby kid. They used to call me chuleta, which means pork chop. I would have got mad, but every time they said it, I was like, that sounds delicious. I believe you just called me a snack. I never got too sensitive about the weight thing until I dated a skinny guy, and there's nothing wrong with skinny guys. Skinny guys need love too. But if you're thick like me, or tall, and you date a skinny guy, prepare yourself, because at some point he is gonna look at you like he wants to pick you up. Don't do it. Don't fall for his confidence, because he's going to look at you with all the confidence in the world. He's going to look at you like, I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> and then you got to look back at him like, no, that's not a good idea. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -mm. You're going to hurt yourself and my feelings all in one move. This will go so much better if I pick you up. Come here, look at how cute you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's my time, guys. Gina Brion! <laughs> Simon! Gina! Yeah, you're very funny. You know what, the only thing I would say is, I sensed a lot of nerves with you tonight. Really? Um, I did, you know? I didn't. No! No! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Don't y'all no. come at my boo. No, I'm your boo, I get it. Uh, look, ahead. I adore you, I think you're very funny. Was this for me better than the first audition? I didn't think so because of nerves. That's my honest opinion. No. That's all right. All right, let's go That's to a comedian, right. Howie! You know, I, you know, humor is subjective. I thought it was as good, if not better, than the last time. I know you've been putting in the work. Oh, yes. I've been seeing you every night at the clubs around town, putting in the work, and I think tonight paid off. Thank you. Heidi! I love you. I love you, and I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking to myself the entire time, I want, like, a Latina buddy comedy with you and Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, thinking this. We could do it. As I'm laughing the whole time, and I think that's the biggest compliment you can give a comedian to yes. make us all laugh, and that's exactly what you did. Thank you. 
Sophia. Heidi was laughing and she never really laughs that much. I was having a be the best time. I laughed at every joke. Yeah. You're so funny. I am Latina. I was like, you know, feeling represented and it, everything you said was true. I love you. Yeah. When I think back to my early years in comedy, I was a full-time college student, I had three waitressing jobs, and I was doing comedy every night. So if you grew up Latino, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your biggest insecurity will become your nickname. I've been in this game now 24 years. I was a chubby kid, they used to call me chuleta. It means pork chop, it means pork, pork chop. I still push myself because every set has to outdo the last. I would've got upset, but every time I got mad, said, but every time they said, said it, I was like, like that sounds delicious. Plus being a Latin female in an industry that's male dominated, there's an enormous amount of pressure on me to deliver. Did you just call me a snack? Did you just call Did me you snack? just call me a snack? I believe you just called me a snack. I've been seeing you every night at the clubs around town putting in the work, and I think tonight paid off. Now, being in the semis and getting to show people from my culture that this is possible means more to me than anybody can understand. But I'm up against some heavy hitters, Kabir, Josh, and tonight, Michael Winslow. Like, that man is a legend. It makes you go, I can't stop working because I bet they're not stopping their work. This is one of the biggest opportunities to make an incredible life for my family. Thank you so much, I've been Gina Brion. And I'm not gonna let this just pass by. Yes. Yes. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. I'm so happy to be back. Um, uh, yeah. I'm back with my son, my son is with me. He is officially one years old now. And uh, yeah, he's saying words which I know he's gonna be insulting me any minute now. <laughs> because kids don't have a filter until you as the grown-up put it in. They just say whatever comes to their mind. Have you ever been insulted by a kid? It yeah. legit hurts your feelings, doesn't it? Because <laughs> they'll just walk right up to you and they'll be like, you're ugly, and then walk away. <laughs> and you're left standing there as the grown-up like, <laughs> isn't he adorable? But when you think about it, that kid isn't trying to mess with you. Like if that kid said you're ugly, it's because he genuinely thinks you're ugly. <laughs> but like so ugly, he had to stop what he was doing and inform you of the situation. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> like he's doing something and he looked up like, oh God, what is that? <laughs> no, put the Legos away. Before having a baby, the most stressful thing I did was plan my wedding. Yeah, it was, it was stressful from the start. One of my girlfriends, when she found out I was getting married, she said, so are you gonna lose weight for your wedding? <laughs> no, I know. I was like, no, but I'm gonna lose girlfriends. <laughs> Let them know, let them know. I wasn't gonna torture myself for my wedding. No, I wore Spanx like a grown-up. <laughs> That's right. Spanx are amazing, right? <laughs> they are, until so you gotta take them off. That's the sad part. That's... You put them on, you feel invincible, right? And then the end of the night comes and it's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All you have to show for your hard work is a roadmap of pain embedded into your skin. <laughs> you touch it, it's like braille. It's like, help me. I love it when I can see women laughing at that, that know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's even better when they're sitting next to a woman that has no idea what I'm talking about. Because she looks horrified. I was at a show and I was talking about Spanx and this woman up front said, that sounds awful. Why don't you just diet and exercise? I was like, that sounds awful. My thing's way better. You guys have been great, thank you, that's my time. <laughs> Gina Brion! <laughs> Howie, I'm cracking up, man. I can't tell you how proud of, I am of you, Gina. I, I gotta tell you that, you know, first of all, I think this is the first season where four comics have made it into the semifinals. This is the year of comedy. I'm so proud of you. I'm such a fan of yours. You're my wife's favorite this year. She, oh. did, she was quoting your act and doing it. 
You are a superstar, young lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heidi, you were laughing. I was. I mean, with or without Spanx, I think you are fabulous. I think you're bold. You, you're like a firecracker. And you make me laugh, you make us all laugh, and you deserve a spot at the finale. Thank you. You thank do. You. Thank you. Sophia. Gina, you are funny. You are relatable. And you know what? You're Latina. You are my cup of tea. Yes, thank you. Simon, yes. did you enjoy that? Uh, once again, Gina, I love the fact that you acknowledge your competition because that, you know, I, I, I think it makes it, everything so much more exciting. I was a bit critical of you last time, and I'm going to be the first to admit I was talking out of my ass. Now that I'm a mom, I realize more than ever the importance of having the support of your parents. And my parents have taught me a lot. A lot about not giving up, about strength, about perseverance. Because my parents have had every single job you can possibly imagine to support their five kids. My mom cleaned houses. My dad sold everything from shoes to car oil to candy. And they never said anything. They never said, oh, we're tired just did it. And miraculously, there was food on the table. I knew how hard they were working. And it just stayed in my brain. Like, they showed me, you don't throw in the towel. You keep pushing. And I bought that work ethic to stand up comedy. I didn't give up, no matter how hard it got. You ready to watch Mommy? And now, making it to the finals means that tonight, I could make history, like I could be the first comedian to win, not just a comic, but a mom, a Latina from the Bronx, like so many people, so many hopes and dreams are in this moment. We're very proud of her and it's just overwhelming. To us, Gina is already a winner. I'm here tonight because of everything that my parents have instilled in me. And when I take that stage, I'm going to be showing my son anything is possible. I had to give you some. I had to give you a little extra for the finals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. I feel that way about this look too, guys. I feel that way about this look too. I am excited to be here. I'm so excited to be here. Not just because it's the finals, but it's also my four year wedding anniversary this month. And thank you. Thank you for clapping, because it ain't easy. <laughs> Marriage is not easy, right? You're not always gonna see eye to eye. You gotta be prepared to argue, right? Lucky for my husband, I wake up every day ready to fight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we argue and we fight, but we're both in therapy. <laughs> yeah, you ever, argue, you ever argue with a healthy person? It is annoying. Because we'd get into these big blow up fights and then I come back in and I'm like, I realize my reaction to the previous situation is actually based on trauma from a former relationship that I shouldn't bring into this current space. Yeah, I know. And then my husband's like, I want you to know that I hear you and I see you. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like us. I don't like us right now. I don't want to be that couple. You got to appreciate the little things, right? Like, I appreciate the fact that my husband is forgetful. Because it works out in my favor. Like, a couple of weeks ago when I was traveling with our son, and he forgot that I can still see the baby monitor that's at home. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I got a notification that there was motion and sound in my bedroom. And I thought, shall we investigate? <laughs> so I did, I opened up the app and I saw my husband having a fake argument with me. <laughs> and he was getting into it. He looked like a battle rapper. He was like, mm. I was like, damn. I would have been mad, but I couldn't stop laughing <laughs> at how he thinks he's gonna talk to me during our next argument. <laughs> right? I was like, whoo! I was like, imaginary me, you gonna put up with that? 
Because not real me, right? You got to know your opponent. That's how you win. That's how you win. Me and my husband, we know each other very well. My biggest flaw he has to deal with, I'm a jealous woman. Nobody likes jealous people. We know. Stop telling us. Every boyfriend I ever had is like, why don't you just trust me? I'm like, that's not how this works. No, now put on your ankle monitor and go have fun. I'll be watching. Thank you, I'm grateful for your time, guys. Gina Brio! <laughs> Howie! Well, Gina, first of all, you look great. Thank you. Secondly, you are great and you're really funny. And uh, I, I just want to say this because I need to. Uh, one of the greats of comedy passed today. Norm MacDonald yes. passed uh, away. And that was, it broke my heart. But having you and seeing you and Josh on the show tonight brings us back and lets us know that laughter is still alive yes. and laughter is the best medicine. So yes. thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up and thank you for being you. Thank you. Heidi, I heard you cracking yeah, up. Yeah, I was cracking up and I was thinking the same thing with so much sadness in the world. It is so nice to sit here, listen to you, laugh, hearing everyone laugh. And you know what? Your dad in the video is right. You are already a winner. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow, a winner with a million dollars. Sophia. <laughs> Gina, I love that you're so comfortable on stage. That made us all so comfortable watching you. It's amazing what you do. You're relatable. You're funny. And I love that your, your material comes from a woman's point of view, which I enjoy and I adore. Simon. Thank you. I think uh, being a comedian um, is the hardest thing to do. I think it's harder than... Uh, some of the variety acts, harder than the singers. I'm really curious because I adore you, Gina, by the way, and your film, I love you in the film as well. Tell me what winning means to you, Gina. Winning means to me uh, making history. That's what winning means. It means a, a win for comics, for Latinas, for moms, and for everybody that has a dream bigger than they can imagine. <laughs> 